Funko Pops in Kinder Eggs. Are they just as cool as regular Funko Pops? So yeah, one of the interesting things I saw at my local Target is these Kinder Joy eggs and they contain as the prizes what appears to be Funko Pops of the Harry Potter series. And yeah, I don't know all of the characters in Harry Potter. I'm not up on Harry Potter like trivia and things like that, but I just know that here, right here, that's Harry Potter. <laughs> and I think that's that might be Hermione, the girlfriend. And maybe I know like a couple of other ones like Hagrid, the, the big giant dude. And then there's Dumbledore here. And yeah, that's about all I know, right? And so, I had to look up the names of some of these characters here. Like, I guess this is, what, Draco Malfoy or Draco Malfoy? And this might be Lucius Malfoy? I'm not sure. But anyway, this is the kind of toy that you'll find in these Kinder Eggs. And the Kinder Eggs are basically half candy and half toy. So in one compartment, you get the toy. And it's sealed, so you don't know what you get. And the other half comes with candy and you can eat that with the included spoon scoop that they give you. And in the olden days, the spoon scoop, the olden days, like a year ago, they gave you a plastic spoon scoop. But because of the environment and all that, they decided to give you a recyclable paper scoop. Not as effective as the plastic scoop, unfortunately, but that's where our world is going towards. We have to basically conserve the environment. So, in these eggs, I was hoping for something a lot better than what I got from these eggs. And I, I know that a lot of you might be thinking, well, what do you expect? You know, it's just Kinder Egg toys. They're supposed to be cheap toys. No, I actually got some really cool toys from Kinder Eggs in the past. I got like these little cars that I could build that like the, you roll them back and they snap forward, like pullback racers in Kinder Eggs. Yeah. So they were like quality toys. And this series of so-called Funko Pops that, that they give you inside these Kinder Eggs, they leave a lot to be desired. And here's why. So Although it looks like it could potentially be a Funko Pop, it's Funko Pop in name only. So look at this, some, some nice details here, right? But the, the big problem is, the big problem here is they don't behave like Funko Pops. So when you open them up and you get them, you get what appears to be almost like Christmas ornaments. So by that I mean you get a little string that you can use to attach inside the hole in the top of the person's head and there's a little securing point that you can place the string on and wind it up and then you can hang this like a Christmas ornament. So yeah, this actually has a big head just like a Fungo Pop and a little body just like a Fungo Pop, but that's where the similarity ends. You can't turn the head. So the cool thing about real Fungo Pops, as you see here, this has got a springy head, right? Other Fungo Pops, you can actually turn the head and so you can pose the Funko Pop and making the Funko Pop like turn in a certain direction. That's pretty cool. And the keychain ones also allow you to do that. And even the little itty bitty pops. See, they come in these little tiny. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that they would include an itty bitty pop in each of these Kinder eggs, but alas, you know, that's <laughs> no, that was just wishful thinking. So even the little ones, if you take a look at this, made of high quality plastic, the same plastic that are used in real Funko Pops. It feels the same, everybody. So yeah, and can you turn the head? Yes, you can. You can turn the head. Very little, but you can still turn the head. Like the head is distinctly different than the body, right? So they pop the head onto the body. Pretty cool. But here, you just have this solid figure. It doesn't move. And so I'm gonna show you how they actually come inside each of these eggs. You get these two parts. You get a front and you get a back. And let me give you a closer look at this. So here's the front part, Harry Potter himself, and here's the back. So it's like they, they sliced him along the coronal plane, the, the plane that divides the front and back halves of the body. The coronal plane. We learned that in yoga class. So here, there's these two pegs here, and you kind of pop this in place, and you push down real hard, and inside you'll see there's like a little place where you can wind the string up on there. But yeah, you basically just push this together like so. Make sure there's no seam when you push it all together. And there you go, you have Harry Potter here in so-called Funko Pop-like form. 
But remember, this is not a true Funko Pop, and that's what really gets me. Like, I wish it was. But no, it's a name only, like I said. And yeah, I think out of the five characters I have here, I think maybe the only one that's missing... Oh, there's, there's a few missing. I don't have his best friend. Is his name Ron Weasley? I don't have this character here. I don't know what the name of this character is, sorry. I'm not a true Harry Potter fan. I don't have Hermione. So I think that's Hermione, right? It's gotta be Hermione. <laughs> so whoever that is, I think it's Hermione. So I have one more egg here and we're gonna open it. Yes, we're opening it live on YouTube TV. And so yeah, you get six eggs for $8.24. Not too bad, but had I known that the toys were like this, I would have not purchased this because yeah, I didn't know that the toys were gonna be so bad this time around. So let's see. Let's get that final egg out. Oh, I probably smushed the candy in there, right? Yeah, it comes in a six pack right here and here. Here's the egg. Now, these things used to be real chocolate eggs with toys inside them. But because some idiot goofball, I don't know, some little kid ate the egg and swallowed the toy inside and, and the parents like sued the Kinder Company, we are no longer allowed to have Kinder Eggs because of some dumb kid who ate the toy and swallowed it probably. We're not allowed to have Kinder Eggs in America. That's a shame because Kinder Eggs are the bomb. You get this chocolate egg and inside is the toy. And any smart kid would just eat kind of like a little bit at a time instead of putting the whole damn thing in his or her mouth. And yeah, just chew it up and then there you pop a hole in it and there's the toy. You pull the toy out. Like any sane, sensible child would do that. But we're not talking about sane, sensible children in America, unfortunately. We're talking about like a bunch of people who just don't have any common sense. And so yeah, they just eat. They probably pop the whole thing in their mouth and swallow the whole thing without even thinking about it. That's, that's my theory anyway. So, <laughs> or else the parents just wanted to sue the company just to make some money. That's, that's another possibility too. So here, this is what you get. And the toy comes in this part here. So initially I thought maybe the toy would be in here because that's not where the spoon is. The spoon is right here. Here is the spoon right here. And it's imprinted with the word Kinder on it. You can barely see it, but it's there. And now we go on to the toy. So here it is. And let's pop it open. Let's see what we get as our final toy. What is that? Oh, it looks like Hermione. Is it Hermione? <sighs> no, it's not. It's another, uh, it's another Hagrid. I got two Hagrids, everybody. Somehow, because of the randomness, right? Because you get six random characters, then two of them could be alike. So I got two Hagrids. So here's Hagrid right here, front and back. And I'll just plug him in right here. Oh, there's actually three mounting points on, on each of these. So not two, like I thought. So there we go. Let's just pop it in place. I don't like the string, so I'm not gonna hang the string on there because I don't want these as Christmas ornaments. Or maybe I do. If I really wanted to make these into Christmas ornaments, I'll just pop them open and put the string inside. And I have my little Christmas tree already set up, so I can just put these right on my Christmas tree. Yeah, there you go, another Hagrid. <laughs> but no Hermione. And you know what? I'm not going to buy another one of these because it's just another set of six. Like, the candy's okay. It's, it's like nothing to write home about. The candy is basically, you could see it right here. You get these two little fluffy chocolate balls, hazelnut balls, with some white cream and some hazelnut cream. And yeah, so the egg, the chocolate egg that they used to give was basically like this, except for the, the crunchy cookie balls that they give you now. So it was basically chocolate on the outside and that white cream on the inside. It was lined with white cream on the inside and then there was a toy inside and it was usually in a capsule, a plastic capsule. So I have no idea how any child could actually swallow that whole egg with the capsule in it, but apparently somebody did. Or maybe they chewed on it and they cracked their teeth. I don't know. Um, 
nobody really <laughs> nobody really knows the story fully, right? Like, how do we get to this point where you let your child have this chocolate, right? So you bought this for your child. You should be supervising what your child should be eating, right? This is my Penn Law School student like thinking going on here. Like, you gave this to your child. You have a responsibility for overseeing, supervising what they eat. And so if it's a little child that's eating this chocolate thing, and you see that this child is eating a little more than he or she should, shouldn't you kind of put a stop to that? Now, even better, a more responsible parent should maybe take a bite of the item that he or she is giving to the child first. Ooh, there you go. So you would think that a responsible parent would do that, but no, I'm pretty sure the parent wasn't that responsible. That's why the child swallowed the whole thing, toy and all, and then decided to sue Kinder so that in America, we no longer get the real Kinder eggs, and that's a shame. So like I can go to Spain, I can get Kinder eggs, I can go to Germany, I can get real Kinder eggs, but here we get these not quite Kinder egg eggs. And so yeah, that's the biggest shame of it all. So I would love to see the next group of Kinder toys being something much better than these fake Funko Pops. Uh, I'm not satisfied with these fake Funko Pops. I think they are, they're just trash, unfortunately. They're not like real Funkos. Real Funkos are, are cool. You know, like they feel cool too. There's like this matte finish on Daredevil here and it's like really, really cool. And there's a matte finish on this little itty bitty pop and that's way cool. And there's, this is like shiny, no matte finish on here. Let me show you a, a black colored one here. It's shiny, it's not matte. It does not feel like a Funko Pop at all. It just looks like a Funko Pop. It's not a real one. Nope. So everybody, if you like this video, please slam the like button, subscribe to my channel. You'll see more videos just like this one. Until next time, everybody, see you, bye.